Good morning, everyone. It is the 19th of Vlogtober. Where did my watch? Okay, weird story. Not weird story, but I'm not quite sure how this works. The video you saw first, let's, let's talk about that. It's picture day at school. I'm nervous about her making sure her hair is straight underneath her little two braids, but it is what it is, all right? Like, you can't control what they're gonna look like for picture day. Okay, right? I mean, you can, once you send them to school, it's kind of out of your hands. If they're not helping them, which they probably won't be because, you know, the sickness, that's what we call it, the sickness. Yeah. So, Hazel's twirling in her pretty dress. That's what she wanted to wear, so I let her wear it. Oh boy, there's uh, cops up here. I hope I can get around all this. We'll find out. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, you might not know, I am left-handed. I am very dominant left-handed. And all my life growing up, I have worn my watch on my left wrist. That's just where it was comfortable. That's always what I've done. I don't know if I can get around this. This looks like a hot mess. I'm gonna have to get over. Okay, we're getting over. <clears throat> Going the back way today. Um, it's fine. I'll figure it out. So, always worn my watch on my left arm, which is not the norm. I think the norm is you wear your watch on the opposite hand that you like, say, right with. Um, but it's just always been comfortable in this arm. I'm concerned though with it being the smartwatch and all the buttons being, I'd have to do everything with my right hand, which I am so left hand dominant. It is, it is, it is hard to do things with my right hand. Not super hard, but hard enough. <laughs> so we're gonna give it a gozies, normal, how I normally wear my watch and take it from there. Yeah, because I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to do with my right hand with the tappies and the, I mean, you're not really typing, typing, but we'll see. All right, so there's my rant for the morning. <laughs> I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, I would put that yarn in the freezer, but I have to wait until I break it for the next color. So I'll do that and then I'll put it in our deep freeze downstairs for a day and I'll just work on another project. I'm assuming they're probably gone from there and who knows, maybe in other yarn. Ugh, that's a nightmare. I don't wanna freeze all my yarn. I don't wanna freeze all my yarn. I've seen people do this and it's a lot of work. All right, we'll see. All right, I said all right. All right, all right, all right. Bye. What is this surprise? I, I'm curious. What is happening? What is it? What is it? Oh, is it that game that you were playing in Lancaster? Ladder ball? Or ladder golf? Ladder golf or something they call it? Oh, this one is actually called ladder ball. It has the name on it. Oh, 
Oh, now you get to put something together. It's only like six dollars more than the PVC crap. Yeah, for a metal one, that's probably nicer. That's what I was thinking. Cool. Oh boy, you gonna play, Hayes? I just wanted to get these out. Oh. Okay, I'm taking advice from Amy, which is happy little yarn if you're not watching her vlogtober. <laughs> Lazy woman's meal. Ready? Bagged raviolis. Can of sauce. Done. So the other day when we were at the bakery, I said I got smear cake, and it's really smear case cake. And they, from what I can find online, it's pretty local to Baltimore, but it's kind of like, they think it's either German or Pennsylvania Dutch type of food that is like a dry curd cake, meaning like it's a spreadable cheese kind of deal. So it's kind of like cheesecake, but not cheesecake. So if you want to look it up, it's called Smear Case Cake. There you go. I'm gonna have a slice of this and some tea, and then it's bedtime. <laughs> and John sneezing. Bless you. Good night. <laughs>